Welcome to Pittsburgh. As you're watching ACC Network Extra and tonight's non-conference matchup between the Troy Trojans and the Pitt Panthers. Now, Troy is coming off a loss at St. Louis, but a game where they led by double digits in the second half while the Panthers coming off their biggest margin of victory in three years. Jeff Hathorne and Chevy Troutman here inside the Peterson Events Center. Really that win over VMI keyed by their bench. Yeah, the bench was was, a, was the story of the last game, especially Wilson Frames. Five three-pointers last game. He's out there showing his leadership. Also, we have we have Davis. He's also a big contributor with a pair of his, his threes. It looks like all the late night shooting and practice from these guys is paying off. And those guys combined for 31 for the Trojans. They're led by experience down low. Jordan Fernando, 20 points, 15 rebounds in that game at St. Louis. His first college game, he had a double-double. Yeah, some of these guys are just built for it. You know, the bright lights bring out your best prospects. Let's get it going. Let's go for tip. Let's go, baby. This should be a good matchup here in Pittsburgh. And the tip controlled by the Trojans as Troy's starting five includes. You want to watch out for Alex Hicks. He's better after four knee surgeries. You see him right there. He's able to take that three. He misses there, but he has a lot of range. For the Panthers, same lineup as last matchup. Three freshmen in that starting lineup for the Panthers. McGowans, Tony, and Johnson. You see them right there to go with Kenneth Chukwuka, who scores the first points of the game. Xavier, he, he drew the defense and thread the needle. It was, it was a nice play. It's kind of like the start. You get underway, you get those first points under the... Mm. In the books, ball tipped away, and Johnson unable to control. Control by Troy. Three-pointer by Javin Johnson, or Javin Johnson. This game already has a different feel than the previous. Jeff Capel is he's concerned about this matchup. He said this is the best team that they've played so far, including their scrimmage games. Inbounds to Hicks. Hicks, offensive foul. Good job by Xavier Johnson to establish that position down low. Yeah, you can definitely you can definitely see that they're um, they're definitely taking in and changing changing the defensive you know they're coming over for the rotations and they're in the right spaces he recognized that quick panthers johnson loses the handle and mcgowan's grabs before troy's do it and the layup up and in by trey mcgowan's he's going to start getting rolling since the last game, he wasn't looking too good. He's looking good already this game. Early 4-0 lead for the Panthers. Kick out. Still plenty of time on the shot clock. And turnover. Here comes McGowan's. McGowan's and the foul. Panthers showing aggressive defense being in the passing lanes. He got his hand on it and he was out for the races. As you see, here he comes right at us. He initiates a little contact, able, strong enough, even as a freshman, to be able to keep his body and lay it up and in. He saw the angle where the defender was coming and he prepared for that so that he could still shoot the ball after he took the contact. Is that an underrated part of the game, knowing the angles? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, it's, it's an extreme sport. You're, you're constantly feeling pressure in places where you typically don't when you don't have a defender, and you have to play through it. So a 7 nothing lead for the Panthers. A bit of a surprise against this team, and there are the first points of the game for the Trojans. As Hicks flushes that, a 7-2 game now. He Just two that. minutes in. He made that look easy. Xavier Johnson drives out to Tony's three, no good. Rebound to the Trojans. Adams cut off by Chukwuka and down low to Hicks. Hicks has the height advantage. Turnaround, no good. Rebound to Tony and a foul. And a foul is going to be on Vernado. And if there is one guy that Troy cannot get in foul trouble, nice look there, Chevy. Huh? Yeah, they, it looks like a uh, defensive breakdown. And it was a little bit 
a little bit slow getting back into the rotation and they get the big fella a slam. Renato picks up the foul. So he and Hicks with fouls. And this is not a deep enough Troy team to be able to survive either of those two out for a significant time. Ball knocked away, controlled by Hicks. Gets it out to Johnson. Javen Johnson over to Miller. Bernardo's going to drive. All right, no good. Ellison the rebound. Ellison's going to push and drive the lane. Has a block and a foul call. That foul on Javen Johnson. Phil Cunningham in his sixth season. Of course, he coached in the NCAA tournament. They played Duke. Jeff Capel was a member of that staff. And Cunningham had that team six points down to Duke in the second half before they caught fire. They had a guy named Tatum. He wasn't bad. A guy named Grayson Allen wasn't bad. Do you think? Do you think he has nightmares about that game? I think he's probably pretty proud that they were that close. Yeah. And I know he was uh, thinking about the win. You know what it would be like after. Renato had a double double in that game. Jeff Capel remembered it. We asked him about it. He remembered it like it was yesterday. He's like, yeah, I remember this guy. Uh, they, they, uh, they brought in, they brought in the big fella in to, to do what he was doing when he was in college, and he, he definitely paid off, you know, in his first game, his first year. Johnson, the Johnson. Uh, Renato, tough turnaround. Pretty move. That was good defense by Frame. You know, there's nothing you could do with that. You know what? You know what beats uh, good defense? Better offense. Oh, you're gonna say rebounding. <laughs> In low to Chukwuka. Chukwuka head fake. Good low post move by Chukwuka. You can't rebound if you make the shot. David Johnson, uh, Renato working down low, out for a three, good. Troy right back in this, now down two. Darian Adams hits the three. Ellison tries to answer, no good. Adams the rebound. Troy with the chance to tie or take the lead after trailing seven nothing. Miller drives lane and lays it up and in. We're tied here in Pittsburgh. There's another baseline. Defensive breakdown. He just took full advantage of it. A run now for the Trojans. Jerry Wilson frame enters the game. I guess when you get 20 off the bench, it's okay being the sixth man. Yeah. He, knows he, he knows he's going to get his, his shots. You know, he's gonna yeah, Chukwuka travels down low. It's 9 all here in Pittsburgh. you remember this Troy team in a recent bracket? Well, they played Duke not long ago. Uh, the Blue Devils were only up in single digits in the second half. You see Vernado and Hicks played in that game. Hicks 14 and 6, Vernado 18 and 10. And Chevy, they, they both have that appearance like they can keep playing after their college careers are over. Yeah, looking at, looking at them in front of my eyes, they look like pros right now. Like they look like they're ready. To get to get it going in the professional. Nine all. Hicks thought about that three. Adams, Bernardo. Three pointer, no good. Bernardo working that rebound off his hands and out of bounds. They just look like they. They know how to compete at the highest level, and they're not afraid or intimidated of coming in here. I mean, they already played against some of the, the other bigger schools. So how much of a factor is that when you believe of going to a place like this? Well, a lot, a lot of the times you don't get, you, you have to teach 
some kids how to, to be good and to win. And some of them, they just come in, they just have that aura. Block shot by Hicks as Eligoma has entered, and Hicks tried the one hand jam. The ball goes out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, you don't see that too much in the college, college world. I wouldn't think that from you know, the Sun Belt Conference, but I tell you what, it's a hidden, very tough conference. Some good teams in that Sun Belt Conference. Mm -hmm. You're looking at, as the shot is mixed, teams like Georgia State and Louisiana Monroe, teams that have been in the tournament. And guess who's picked off where he picked up where he left off in the last game? I mean, he's getting the shots in his in his sweet spots, and when he does his one-two, you know, you know, it's there's a good chance of it going in. Three-point lead for the Panthers. Drive by Miller uses the left hand and a ball off of Eligoma, and it will be Troy basketball. One, two, up. Three-point shots. And he just saw that Verdano was giving him Vernado was giving him some room, and he just mm. said, "All right." Yeah, he, got, he was backing up too much on the shooter. Good double team. Adams three, no good. Rebound by Wilson Frame. This Troy team isn't afraid to put him up in the three-point line. It's Johnson, Ellison, Wilson Frame, Davis, and Eligoma. Johnson, Adams, Miller, Vernado, and Hicks for Troy. 13 on the shot clock. Another three. This one no good. And rebound corralled by Adams. This Troy team seems really organized down here too. Johnson cut off by Davis. Good defense by Cameron Davis. 10 on the clock. Hicks, deep three. Stretching it out there, big fella. Wow. That was a nice, that was a nice shot. He he had his one, two, straight up, no defense. And Hicks came in two of three from three. He's one of yeah. two here tonight. Yeah. He's looking confident, just, just letting it go. You know, not thinking too much and just letting it fly. It's important in into making a good shot. Drive by Wilson. Frame uses the left hand. Did a little Euro step in the middle of there, too. Jared Wilson Frame with five. Down low, Bernardo misses. Fight for the rebound, controlled by Xavier Johnson. Johnson drives crossover and blocked by Jamin Johnson and out of bounds. You see Hicks. And he did not look uncomfortable shooting that three. What do you like about that move from Wilson Frame there, Chevy? Yeah, he, he, he was dancing down there. You know, he did the one, two, Euro step a little and reverse it on the other side. It's, it's nice when the guards get clever down there because they're so small they can get through the tight spaces. City and Deer checking in. A lot of quick substitutions we've noticed from Jeff Capel here in this first couple of games as Panthers head coach. In and out, the shot by Davis. There comes Miller for Troy. The screen and roll and wide open is Williams. Williams jump shot, no good. Rebound by Chukwuka. Zay Williams, his first opportunity. Ender is going to drive the lane, cut off contact, no foul called. That's another thing about this Troy team when they play St. Louis, they brought physicality. And we can expect more of that here tonight. It's a tight game here in Pittsburgh. The Panthers lead Troy 14 to 12. The rules of luxury. Look, but don't touch. Touch, but don't use. Use, but don't enjoy. Enjoy, but don't show it. If you're going to follow one rule, make sure it's this one. Luxury should be lived in. Now get a special winter bonus at the Infinity Winter Sales event. Infinity. Empower the drive. This ball, I carry it everywhere. I just want you to know I've loved you all my life. <laughs>
the final chapter of the critically acclaimed television event. Basketball is just the ultimate addiction. It's this monumental gathering of people that all share a love of the game of basketball. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. Just one of a number of events you can watch on ACC Network Extra. Women's basketball tomorrow, then the men on Thursday, women on Friday, and back to the men on Saturday. Busy week inside this building at Peterson Event Center. We've got it for you on ACC Network Extra. As Panthers and Troy, kind of like we expected, Chevy. A little back and forth here. It's been a tight game so far. Yeah, they're both coming out aggressive, being physical. And they're pressing the issue. Layup no good. Rebound fought for, and that's going to stay here. Foul on the Panthers on Endear. This is a team, Chevy, that likes to be physical, and you can see it. You they're, down see their their they're down there scrapping. They're just trying to compete. Zay Williams makes the first free throw. You see Jeff Capel discussing. I wonder what they're talking about. Dinner? <laughs> no, he was probably saying that there was no foul down there. Wish I wouldn't have had the onion, onion rings. 14 all. Not that they're bad. I like onion rings. I do too. Wilson frame over to Ellison. Ellison is going to drive, loses control, and here comes Troy with the chance for the lead. Three on one, and left-handed shot, wild one, no good. Been a lot of contact both ways. It hasn't been called. Here comes Wilson frame. Wilson frame, Chukwuka, nice passing, but an offensive foul on Chukwuka. Yes, in those last three, the last three possessions, there was a lot of contact on both ends. Ellison's drive, there were some hands. They grabbed, grabbed his arm a little bit. They came back down. It was a really yeah. nice pass too before that charge. That was a really that's a that's a hard that's a hard angle for a big to get out once he gets his, his motor going. So they're letting a lot of contact. Seven fouls called so far, just about halfway through. And we're tied here at the Peterson Event Center. Johnson hesitation drives righty, no good, and rebound to Tony. Here comes Johnson quickly the other way. Low pass, so Ellison unable to get a shot off. Wilson Frame will take it, and Wilson Frame will hit another three. Yeah, that was a, that's, that's one thing that I'm, I'm starting to see is in his repertoire. He likes to pump fake, one dribble, and pass. And luckily, Wilson Frame is right there. What do I say is one, two, straight in. Always in his spots, ready to shoot. KJ Simon in the game for Troy, and he's going to play more minutes than we've seen early on. He's only averaged nine and a half. Bernardo. No good rebound off of Troy and Williams as Wilson frame quickly pulls the trigger right in rhythm and buries and they gave each other that you know you like to see that like to see a little love the teammates working for each other it makes it easier to play basketball. 17 14 Panthers. Midway point of the first half. See some weaving up top. McGowan's is going to drive, and there's contact. So he'll go to the line for two. The foul on Williams, his first. You know, McGowan's, he's going to the cup a lot, and it's hard, it's hard to play defense on his shot because when he goes up, he does like a double pump, and he wraps it around, and he can still finish from, from these awkward angles. I, li I like seeing that from him. That's something clever. Yeah, he can hang. Something you can't teach. Can't teach that. First free throw down. Let's see. He's taking it to the hole. He goes up, shows the defense. Defense tries to block it. He wraps it around and creates the foul. It's a smart play by McGowan. Now it's now 7 of 10 from the line. He had some big time offers, McGowan's did, from Clemson. 
Minnesota, Baylor, VCU. Well, we're lucky to have him in the Peterson Event Center. And good defense by Tony, a turnover on Troy. Yeah. And you see Simon's getting a talking to from his coaching staff as Panthers and Jeff Capel take the basketball now leading by five. It was an early seven point lead for the Panthers. Troy came back. Now the Panthers have opened up a five point lead. It's nice to see what, what Cable's doing with these guys. He got these guys believing that they can win every game. And they're out there, they're out here competing and showing, you know, that they're confident and they're going to go out here and try to win every possession. Yeah. Great look from McGowan's to Chukwuka. Drove the lane, drew, uh, drew the defense, and dropped it to the big man. Miller has the screen from Williams, but saw the double team and backed out. Handoff, Bernardo. Plenty of time to shoot in the corner. A kick out, jump shot, short. Rebound to Vernado, but he misses. Rebound off the Panthers, and yeah. a couple opportunities there where they couldn't squeeze. They, it's it's exciting. It's it's hard not to like this Panther, this Panther squad. You like that, that was, assist there? Yeah, Chukwuka. He was right. In, he was in the right spot at the right time. Six points for Chukwuka. You see McGowan's guarding the inbound. Again, a seven-point lead for the Panthers. Panthers shooting 53%, Detroit just 22. And that's where there's inexperience. The back court, or the front court, as the drive and finding Hernando and a foul on Chukwuka, his second. I don't like that foul call. He was straight up. But you could see some of the, you see some of the, Anxiousness or nervousness from the guards on this Troy team? Yeah, they're they're not handling uh, the Panthers' pressure, but you know the Panthers they're they're making them dribble the ball way further away from the basket, which is running the clock down. And when it's time to to get a shot up, they're not in good position. This is a good opportunity here for Ellie Goma with two fouls on Chukwuka. He's going to get some minutes here and a chance to really prove himself against a, a physical front court. This might be one of the games that he's going to enjoy because he's a physical player too. Free throws down by the leading scorer for the Trojans. Bernardo from Tennessee. Averaging 13 and a half a game early on. His first team preseason all Sun Belt. And you said you could kind of tell it when he was warming up. You could tell it he had a little something. Mm -hmm. And an offensive foul on Ali Goma. Some people got it and some people don't. <laughs> what can you say? I, I, no coach ever looked, opposing coach ever looked over and said, boy, that Hathorn guy can play. <laughs> Just like, please get him in the game. And over and back. Troy wanted a tip, but an over and back call against the Trojans. Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah. Tony fought for it, but he never touched the ball. Well, he touched the ball on the one side, and then he took his foot on the other side. So for me, that's a, a correct call. See Phil Cunningham looking on. Cunningham last year felt their season was starting to go until Vernado had that injury, a stress fracture. Kind of derailed their plans last year. They're trying to get back into the top, picked in the top four in the conference. Three-pointer by Xavier Johnson. Maybe that's going to get him rolling today. His motor is still going from the last game. Biggest lead of the game for the Panthers. Three of seven after hitting 13 threes against VMI on Saturday. Hicks back in. Good look to Burnett. That was a tough move. It's another one of those plays where you have to you have to be uh, concentrated when you take the, the contact. Hicks six eight. He has a complete game. 
Drive by Johnson to floater over Hicks. Johnson with five. And there's Hicks. Well, they go on in. And foul. Let's see if Peace picks up that foul. The foul on the Panthers. And it will be on Peace. That's two on him, two on Chubuka. But Xavier Johnson hits the three. The Panthers lead by eight. This is the not for sale Kia Forte drift car. And this is the all new 2019 Kia Forte. We built one of them with an available smart trunk. You know, so you could tell them apart. In college football, we brag about every week it matters. Anybody can lose to anybody on a week-to-week -week basis. It's on the committee to look at the entire body of work. Forget the metrics, just who's a better team. If they win out, it'll be as good as any one lost game at the end of the year. The committee's going by resume. It's going to be chaos by the time we get to December. The College Football Playoff Top 25 Ranking Show, Tuesday at 7 on ESPN, presented by Goodyear. Panthers leading by eight. Pisa Eligoma picking up his second foul as it's getting physical here, Chevy. Yeah. As you can see in the last the last possession, they're showing you one's not Eligoma's not backing down, but he put he played a little bit, you know, too physical. Hicks played was smart in that in that session because or that that possession because he knew. Iligomo was going to foul him, and he went up into a shot directly. So what you're saying is the foul was when he kind of dipped his shoulder into him. It was the last, it was the last action. He, he was fouling him. So you think that was legit? Yeah, he was fouling him foul. with his forearm. And then right when Hicks was going into a shot, he dipped his shoulder, which was, you know, smart on Hicks, but a bad move by Iligomo. So two of the Panthers' big men are in foul trouble, or at least have two, as Hicks makes the second free throw. And there you see them. You see Peace is still relatively inexperienced as far as big-time basketball is concerned. And he's getting a little help. From one of the better play defensive players on, on the Panthers' team. Terrell Brown in the game, and there's a foul this time on Troy. Ted Valentine makes the call on Alex Hicks. Ted looks over. At some point, I'm telling you, Valentine's going to play into the crowd. It's what he likes to do. <laughs> he'll get he'll get into this, and we see Jared Wilson frame enter in, and Adis Tony check out. That ball inbounded off of Troy and out of bounds. So another inbound for the Panthers, just other side of the hoop. So Brown, Wilson, Frame, Ellison, McGowan, and Johnson. Bernardo, Miller, Burnett, Adams, and Johnson. For Troy. McGowan's. He had that three if he wanted. Down to Brown. Brown, hook shot. Nice move by Terrell Brown. That was a really nice move. He, he ducked in. He, he sealed per perfectly. Textbook duck in. Caught the ball. That's about as aggressive as I've seen him this year, like wanting the basketball. Yeah, he's 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 not playing that much, and to see him getting the game right now. And then Brown with the block. Contributing directly. And they need him. Chevy, take us through this. Look how much he wants this basketball. Yeah, he's, he ducked in really well, you know, right right into his baby hook. This is one of the moves that he likes to, he likes to, to use, and he's, you know, they Troy should know that Brown is their is their uh, rim protector. B.J. Miller picks up the foul, so now Terrell Brown to the line. These free throws are going to be tough coming straight in off the bench. You go in reverse jinx. Send it in, big fella. It's like a broadcasting jinx. See, these things you learn is broadcasting jinx, and now you're going the other way. And you're calling the miss instead of telling some, us how good someone is. No, really. I got gotcha. you. Those look I see amazing. What you're doing. Those two shots were textbook. 
you don't you want your, every big man should be shooting free throws like that. So the biggest lead of the game for the Panthers in double digits for the first time, 30 to 19. As Troy works it around the top, step back three, in and out, rebound to Brown. It's been all Terrell Brown here over the last minute. Yeah. He has a little Johnson three no good rebound controlled by Williams. You know when you come in the game and, and you, uh, you're productive in the first couple possessions it's easier to get it going. Man. Johnson working against Ellison that's a two no good Bernardo the rebound and a foul on Jared Wilson frame I believe. Nope it's on Xavier Johnson his first. I so couldn't see down there. Seven team fouls. You were 23 and you didn't join last year. So you never got, I don't know if you ever listened to the Oakland Zoo when you played Chevy. They could be pretty clever. I would say the only, the only fans that I heard outside of of the the lines were down in West Virginia. Those are the only ones. Well, when you guys go down, when Pitt would go down there, man, that was all bets were off. Yeah, Bernardo. There's there definitely a hatred. Makes a couple. It's 30-21. You see the zoo right behind us. We try to make friends just so you know we don't get in trouble. Yeah, I definitely don't want, it. want them talking about me. No, Brown, and it's blocked. Good block by Troy. Here come the Trojans quickly the other way. Bernardo finishes. So really a four point swing there as Troy now back down seven. Yeah, they're, they're making good defensive plays, making second efforts. As you can see there, the Troy player blocked yeah, the Williams, shot, really down, nice block. Went down to a straight, straight into a fast break. Perfect, perfect lanes ran and an easy basket. McGowan's short on the three and you see defense leading the offense right here for the Trojans as Brown goes down and good block from behind by Williams. Second effort right there. And then able to control it enough to get it over to Vernado and he finishes in 23 now with eight points. As you see the guard, the guard drew the defense and kicked it back to his big run. The lane. It's the easiest basketball play you can make in transition. Four and a half to go here first half for not a great position down low on Ellison but unable to make it and Brown gets another rebound that's his third Ellison quickly the other way lefty shot and in. He looked like a lefty on that shot. I don't think he's a lefty though. His papa was a pretty good lefty. Yeah. And three point opportunity. Williams in and out. Oh, look at that rebound by Vernado. Textbook box out. And looked over at the Panther coaching staff. They weren't as appreciative of that block out as we were. Wilson frame open. No good. Vernado the rebound. Here come the Trojans. Down low, Williams unable to grab. And Bernardo maybe a little too aggressive there. Troy hanging around. It's 32-25, Panthers. This ball, I carry her everywhere. I just want you to know I've loved you all my life. <laughs> the final chapter of the critically acclaimed television event. Basketball is just the ultimate addiction. It's this monumental gathering of people that all share a love of the game of basketball. Hashtag Ask Scott Mondays, baby. Hashtag Ask Scott Monday. <laughs> Charles was here. That's Charles would do it like this. I'm making an ask. <laughs> Panthers lead at 32 25 thanks to Jared Wilson frame who Chevy has been hot again here tonight. Yeah you see him going to the cup a little baby Euro step up and under you know credit to 
to his teammates for getting the ball for him so he can just, he, he can just shoot. Just carrying over what he did on Saturday against VMI, Jared Wilson frame had 20 points in that game, five of nine from three. He's already got two here so far. And even the couple he missed, he looked on balance. It, it was a good shot. It just came up you know, just a little bit off. I'm starting to get a feeling that like he he's comfortable shooting anywhere. Like he's 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 one of their their, their shooters and he's gonna shoot. Shoot or shoot. Well, Brown working down low on Williams. Ellison. Well, Brown really playing aggressive here tonight and travel on Davis. You know, another key that we've seen here, Chevy, in this first half, we saw it with Youngstown State and the way they hit the boards. One offensive rebound for the Panthers, nine for the Trojans. Yeah, with, when you offensive rebound, that's giving you a second. A second chance effort to get another shot. Two points or three. A lot of people like to kick it out for the three. That's just what to maximize. That's what Phil Cunningham told us before the game. They want to match the intensity and Zay Williams with the dunk. You know, the the, the drive was strong. <laughs> what, what surprised me is that he didn't pull the rim didn't pull down. But then I look at him, he's thin. <laughs> and turnover. A carry on the Panthers, and man, what a dunk. Oh, above the rim, high flying. Yeah, he's a high flyer. He's Tony, now the deficit is five. Yeah. Team Look is at not giving up tonight. The points in the paint still favor the Panthers, but not by much, and Brown able to corral that loose ball. Bernardo had a chance down low, just unable to corral it. Johnson kicks out the Wilson frame. He drives against Williams. Good look to Terrell Brown, who finishes. That was a great motion play. All the guards were in rhythm. They all seemed to be in sync, and they, they found the big man under the basket. See Miller running the point. As we approach the two-minute mark, good defense by Ellison knocking it away, trying to deny and successfully denying Bernardo. Wilson frame, good decision with the bounce too, Chevy. Yeah, he drew the defense, the big over, you know, dropped it to Brown, and Brown had an easy basket. Any He's other been, type of pass probably doesn't get through. No, he dropped, he, he, he made the, the perfect pass. Johnson against Tony. Drives, kicks, wide open three right there for B.J. Miller. Troy definitely knows what they're looking for. They're not going away from their three-point shooting. And you see right there. Head go. fakes by Johnson, gets it to Brown. Brown, a power dribble and lays it in. Brown's playing close to the basket, you know, being physical and getting his baskets. Eight points for Brown, six for Chukwuka. Man. Xavier Johnson trying to draw the offensive foul against Miller. I think that was just a, he stopped on a dime that hard. Johnson's three, no good. Rebound crashed by Williams, but controlled by Brown. Wilson Frame wants it from out top, but a turnover, a strip. Bernardo gets it over to Johnson, down low. Miller is going to kick, three-pointer for Troy, no good. Bernardo tips, but over to Wilson Frame. Wilson Frame drives righty floater, no good. And rebound control by Williams and a foul on Jared Wilson Frame. That was a frustra frustration foul right there. Try to say that three times. And he just went and pointed to himself, and uh, two of the words you hear a lot, my bad. 36-30. <laughs> Every, Every Hooper can relate to that, those words. There he is. My bad. My bad. I probably said that a million times in my career. <laughs> Just in practice? No. <laughs> in the game, too. And Williams gets it to drop. Williams with five. He's three of three at the line. Troy beat Fort Valley State by 35. And then led in the second half at St. Louis by double digits. But loss to the Billikens, 
62-58. Panthers with a pair of wins as Pitt calls timeout. Youngstown State 69-53 and then that VMI win 94-55. All right, you got 48 seconds left. You're the Panthers. Who is it you want to get the ball? I think I have a feeling who. I'm I'm going to go with Wilson Frame, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be mad if if uh, Johnson went out there trying to be trying to be aggressive or anything. Speaking of aggressive, is it just a mindset different? You think with with Terrell Brown here tonight? Um, I, it looks like he's calmed down and he's just he's just out there for his team. And when you have players like that coming out. Being out there for the team first, you know, the team can help get them involved. And you can see that from the passes that he got. He didn't have to do no work. He's just catching them and just going straight up. And they've needed him. Eli Goma with two fouls, Chukwuka with two fouls. Yeah. It's important that he came out and represent like like he has tonight. Well, they have three three bigs to choose from. And they're all they all seem equally, equally able and they all can compete, so and continue. Jump stop for Xavier Johnson, and he lays it in. So back to a six-point lead, and we'll see if Troy uses their use it or lose it, and they will. So let's talk about the Trojans here for a second, Chevy. Uh, what stood out to you? What have you liked about their game here in the first half? I like how scrappy they are. They're 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 not afraid to to play defense. They're not afraid to to attack the hole. And when they're when they're drawing the defense, they're kicking it out to the, their shooters, and their shooters are, you know, they're they're going to let them fly. They play with guts and determination. You see Jeff Capel talking to his team, animated, and he said, you know, he's said this since he's gotten here. There's one thing you can control. It's your effort on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. And at times it's been lacking, especially given the number of rebounds, the rebound advantage that is there. You look at the total rebounds, it's a plus three for Troy, but nine offensive rebounds. And that'll get any coach a little perturbed. Yeah. Normally you try to keep your keep the team uh, under under 10 rebound, uh, offensive rebounds a game. Troy has to get a shot with about four seconds left. Miller working against Xavier Johnson. You got to think they're wanting to get it to Vernado. Williams high arcing three Williams some time left for the Panthers as the lead is cut to three Xavier Johnson quickly kicks Tony for three no good follow up does it count yes, it counts that goes. offensive rebound just the second of the game for the Panthers gives them a five point lead at halftime he never stops as you as you can see he's making it that's the second effort right there. So Johnson hits the shot and the Panthers lead back to five at halftime. Been a heck of a first half. We're expecting more fireworks in the second half. We're going to talk some pit football and have first half highlights and stats as we continue from Pittsburgh. Panthers lead it at the break, 40-35. I'm going to lunch. You want some lunch? Presented by State Farm. A 40-35 lead for the Panthers here at halftime. And you may wonder, how did some of these Pitt players come to Pittsburgh? Well, let's find out. We go beyond the script to tell you why. When I was going through the recruiting process, I had a lot of good schools. And... Um, when I came here on a visit, I fell in love with this campus, with the people around, um, you know, my teammates. 
the coaching staff, they broke everything down for me, kind of, you know, gave me a blueprint of how, you know, my career would go at Pitt. And that was like really where I decided like, wow, this is the place I want to be for, you know, the final two years of my career. I'm taking advantage of the school opportunity. It's a great school. I'm taking advantage of just everything, the environment, the, the people here. It's lovely people are all around, all around campus. My teammates, I'm getting closer and closer with them, hoping that I can have forever friendships with, with a lot of those guys. But we have to do it together. So let's concentrate, let's lock in, all right? And let's get after it, all right? Let's go. University of Pittsburgh, man, it's helped me in so many ways. There's so much love here, you know, and you feel it everywhere you go. Everybody, you know, they got a smile on their face when they see you, and it's a true smile. It's a beautiful city, I love it, and I just like the atmosphere of the whole sports. Uh, everybody's so interested in sports. I love the fans, I love the fans. Honestly, the games were, were, like, were like packed. Oh man, like I, I wanted to give some high fives to the fans. Like it felt like they was right there on the court with me. It was great. And the three, y'all. One, two, three. Man, on the hot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I fell in love with the staff. I mean, uh, they all got hired kind of around the same time. I had to sit down with them, and I met with all of them, and they were all just cool in their own way. Oh, I love all of our coaches, all of our assistant coaches. Uh, JC Brown, Tool. Everybody brings something different and brings a lot of energy. nights where I've even got emotional a little bit, just kind of embracing and taking in this whole opportunity, period. Um, playing in a conference like the ACC, being in a city, let alone an institution like the University of Pittsburgh, just the environment here, being in a place that has such a rich history, it's like, you know, you dream of these things growing up. Yeah! I feel the, feel the tradition, like, of people that's really proud of being from Pittsburgh or a uh, former Pitt student or whatever the case may be. People are here, I feel like they work hard and they expect you to work hard and I like it like that. Hi, my name is Malik Ellison. I'm a junior guard from Voorhees, New Jersey. My name is Kenneth Chiwuka. I'm from Sweden. I play forward at Pitt. My name is Cameron Davis. I'm a sophomore here and I really enjoy Pitt basketball. I'm Jared Wilson Fram from Hartford, Connecticut. Shooting a guard, University of Pittsburgh. I'm a senior and you're watching Pitt Beyond the Script. Panthers lead by five at halftime. We're going to tell you about what happened here on Saturday as we continue here from Pittsburgh. Go. I switched to Geico and saved hundreds. Winner. That's a win, but it's not the only reason I switched. Geico has licensed agents who I can reach 24-7. Winner, winner. Now that's a win-win. <laughs> The slot here is your ex. But if that's the call, Mike, Will, and Sam all have to know they're shifting. Open palms to post, thumbs ups to crosser, thumbs downs and out. Trevor, why don't you get up here and draw that for us? Playing in the NFL is hard. But playing NFL.com fantasy football is easy. Now you can optimize your starting lineup with just one click. Make it easier to fantasy football with NFL.com fantasy football. Senior legacy, what do we got? Everybody's got one more yard for these seniors, okay? I got James is up next. He's going to break you down. Here we go. Let's get him. Get in tight, get in tight. Before we start, man, before we start, let's see your left and see your right. Tell your brother you got his back. Get your back, get your back. Opportunity, man. Opportunities here, and we in control of Opportunities for how we want today to go, how we want our season to go, and most importantly, how you want to be remembered. Opportunity, right? It come down to a moment, one moment. And in that moment, no talking can help us. It's all action, bro. It's all about action in this moment. All this opportunity for how we want today to go, the season, and how you want to be remembered, it come down to a moment, one moment. And the moment is right now. Get it up, man. Let's go. Tell me y'all boys, man. All action today. B Tech 03. One, two, three. B Tech. Jeff Hathorne and former Panther quarterback Pat Bostic. Let's go. You ready? I mean, ready to go. you hear something like that, it gets you it. fired up. Panthers were fired up, man. How would you describe what happened last Saturday? Well, you know what? It was a, a great performance, and uh, this pit team gave Panther fans just what they wanted, a resounding victory at home uh, with division implications on the line. Uh, there was no doubt in this football game. Physically dominated a Virginia Tech team, particularly on the offensive line. 
uh, you know, Bud Foster's defenses are vaunted, and uh, they were dominated from the first whistle to the last whistle on Saturday at Heinz Field. It was really a treat to watch, and it was true pit football. Some amazing rushes that we're watching right now from Claude Riolis in the ACC running back of the week. Jimmy Morrissey, the offensive lineman of the week. We see the celebration after. So now this Panther team that was under 500 not long ago has a chance to go to Wake Forest and win the ACC Coastal. How have they done it? Well, I, you know, I think it's a couple things. First of all, this team is uh, they're playing their best football in November, and it's not a I don't think that's an accident. I think it's training in the offseason. I think this team is in better shape than they've ever been, and they're imposing their will on the opposition. And I think that just comes down to what Dave Andrews has done. And then secondly, they got back to basics, running the football and stopping the run, and they're doing that just about as good as anybody in the country right now. And, Pat, uh, they're bowl eligible are these Panthers. Thank you for taking time. I appreciate it. Panthers. Pitt Panthers bowl eligible tickets. You can be part of the postseason experience by joining the tickets ticket interest list. You'll be immediately included in the communication package for all bowl information, including ticket pricing and travel. The priority request deadline for the ACC championship is next Wednesday, November 21st and Thursday, November 29th for this year's bowl game. Head to PittsburghPanthers.com for more information. We'll recap the first half with stats as we continue from Pittsburgh. This Geico ad is intended only for people who grew up in the 80s. Renting VHS tapes is dope. So saving money with Geico. And their 24-7 access to licensed agents is totally fresh. Word. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. This is a place where we like our Bloody Marys like we like our internet. Really good. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. Jeff Hathorne and Chevy Troutman here at the Peterson Event Center. 4035, the Panthers lead at halftime. Jared Wilson frame really getting it going for the Panthers in that first half. His eight points were key, and he was did it outside and inside. Yeah, he's he's uh getting to his spots. And he's, he's stepping straight in. One, two, up, straight in. Here you go right here from la the last game. You remember and that VMI game, yeah. Yeah, and he's con continuing it tonight. And into tonight, here comes Wilson Frame right at you. And he's got the confidence to just stop and pop. Yeah, he's getting straight to his spot. And he's he's going straight into his shots. He's comfortable. He looks, he looks like he's ready to take all these shots from him. Jordan Bernardo coming off 20 points and 15 rebounds. It wasn't a good start for the senior from Tennessee as he missed some shots in early. Some good defense as well by the Panthers. But then he got it going on the offensive glass. Yeah, he's down there. He's being a workhorse tonight. And and when you get offensive rebounds close to the basket, you can get an easy one. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you throughout the night. Eight for Wilson frame, 10 for Vernado. You see three of 10, the six rebounds, four offensive. Wilson frame with four rebounds himself as the Panthers lead at 40 to 35 here at halftime. Panthers shooting 55% from the floor to 30% from for Troy, but yet the Trojans just down five, thanks in large part to that rebounding. Yeah, they have they have um, the offensive rebounding edge, and I'm sure that Coach Cable is not happy with how many offensive rebounds they have tonight. Yeah, only the second offensive rebound for the Panthers was the shot right before the buzzer, as the Panthers will come out with their starting five. Chukwuka back out after he had to sit a lot of the first half with a couple of fouls. We're back underway, second half between Troy and Pitt. It's a man's game in the paint down there tonight. Probably what the Panthers need too is they get they work to prepare for conference play. Drive by Johnson, bodies on the ground, no call, and rebound by Vernado on the miss by Tony. Troy's not afraid to play in, inside. That was your first near experience of bodies coming at us, Chevy. They I ran. saw you flinching. They would have ran into some elbows. <laughs> <laughs> you still have those? Yeah. You still know how to use them? Uh, a little bit. It's been a while, but. 40 to 35 inbounds, 30 seconds into the second half for the Trojans. Trojans one and one on the season. Panthers two and zero, oh, and open and willing and not able that time to make the three is Hicks. I would like to see him get some more uh, touches closer to the basket. Three pointer for Johnson, no good. Bernardo grabs another rebound. 
Ellison goes down, no foul. Jamin Johnson down to Hicks. Hicks against Chukwuka. He's going to work. Turnaround shot, no good. Good defense, good rebound by Chukwuka. Down low, McGowan, or excuse me, Tony lays it up and in. He ran, he ran a deep lane and, and curled it at the end. That's a hard one to defend. A good look down court, eyes up. Five assists for Xavier Johnson with only two turnovers. Jamin Johnson, no good. McGowan's the rebound. McGowan's a quiet seven points. Johnson, Chukwuka, three. First of the year for Kenny Ch Kenna Chukwuka. You know, we've been seeing him, him take some three-point shots, and that one was in rhythm. All the shots before was in rhythm, but that one, that one, he's going to be making more for the rest of the season, for sure. 15 on the clock, Panthers up 10. A 5-0 run to start the second half. Miller drives in the trees, and a blocking foul called. And that one's the third on Chukwuka. Yeah, he's down there trying to make defensive uh, rotations. Um, he tried to sell that, but it's hard to, to draw that kind of uh, foul on a guard when you're as big as he is going against the guard that small. At the line is Miller, and he makes the first free throw. How about Troy? They're 10 of 11 from the line. One of their qualities. Yeah. No jinx there. Their free throws are clean. Back to an eight-point game. Panthers haven't trailed. There have been ties in this game. Xavier Johnson crossover and fouled by Miller. Yeah. So it's so hard to, to guard his side to side because he's so athletic and explosive. Any crossover so low. McGowan's gets the inbounds. Ellison off the screen from Chukwuka. Tony head fake drives the lane. Right handed shot. No good. Bothered by Bernardo. And here comes Johnson for Troy. Double team coming. Good look to Hicks. Hicks cross court pass. Three. No good. Here comes Ellison and the and the Panthers. Ellison's just going to drive the whole way and lay it up and in. And a quick timeout from Phil Cunningham. A run for the Panthers and a 10-point lead here in the second half as Malik Ellison drives the lane with no fear. It's 47-37 Panthers. I wish you weren't so worried about moving. I'm hoping these nature sounds will help me relax a bit. At least we don't have to worry about homeowner's insurance. Just call GEICO. Good to know. Get to know GEICO for homeowner's insurance. Panthers coming with a full court press against Troy, extending their lead to 10. And good defense. Hicks is able to grab and ball off of Terrell Brown, who has checked in. And Terrell Brown and Chevy, he, he was really impactful in that first half. Yeah, he's getting the ball in, in, uh, in the paint, close to the basket. And it's easy for the big guy. When he gets it there, all he has to do is go into a jump hook or a baby hook or whatever. It's finished. Miller quickly the other way. Good break by the Trojans of that press. And just when the Panthers get into double figures, Troy comes back with a couple of hoops. It's kind of been the story of this game. Near steal there by Johnson. 
You know, Troy's not afraid to hoop, and they're out here displaying it. Jump step by Xavier Johnson. Ellison elbow kicks McGowan's three. Yeah. Trey McGowan's with his first three of the night. That was a nice play because everybody before McGowan's could have shot that ball. Miller. Johnson. Good look down low. Hicks hangs and finishes. You see a lot of big men that can hang like that. Yeah. That's another one of those shots. When you're, when you're contorting and bringing the ball behind your head to finish. Brown went to dunk and the second foul on Vernado. See Ellison, he could have shot that. He gave it up to his teammate. Great team basketball. The Panthers. Now was ready for it. You see that coaching staff. The amount of experience on that coaching staff, head coaching experience is uh, pretty remarkable. As Terrell Brown makes another free throw. Look at that. All of them have been Division One head coaches, mm -hmm. which is unheard of, really. I mean, they came, they probably came together and they spoke about it. And, you know, they, they knew what they was getting themselves into. And they're bringing it all, all together in one place. Why not have all the all those head coaches on the same team at once. You have players that have to be unselfish, coaches too. They have to know their role and play within the framework. But what a resource for Jeff Cable to be able to ask guys that have been in his shoes uh, on decisions at a foul, late foul call. Renato fouled by Malik Ellison. It's a second foul on Ellison. Panthers are up 11. It ties their biggest lead of this game. We're back to Pittsburgh in a moment. April 5th is National Read a Roadmap Day. You know what doesn't come with a roadmap? Your career. That's why AARP is here. Whether you're looking for your next job or just want to be happier in the one you already have, today is your day to make the most out of work. Take on today with AARP. Stream live events and original ESPN programming with ESPN Plus. For more information, visit ESPNplus.com. Renato at the line for two. <laughs> they continue their mastery of the foul line. I'm not sure if they're going to miss anymore. Nope. And the reverse jinx did not happen. <laughs> you got to try it out. You're getting your sea legs. You got to figure out what works, what doesn't. And a little trap at half court by Troy and dribbling right through it is Xavier Johnson. He dribbled, he dribbled through that defense like nobody was there. That's John, one of the most dangerous things a guard can do is dribble through three people. McGowan's alley oop to Brown. I know he's feeling good tonight. He got a couple easy baskets. And all you don't. His night is almost complete. Now Brown defensively against Hicks, and Hicks is able to answer. Yeah. That was a tough. That was a tough move. Hicks now with 10. Quickly come the Panthers. Wilson frame. He stepped right into that like there wasn't a defender in front of him. Hot shooting continuing for the Panthers. 58% for the game. Miller driving baseline. Gets it against Johnson. Open three for Troy. You know with the three-point shot, you're always in the game. There's just 
exchanging hoops now. Johnson thought about it for a second. A little two three here, Chevy. Yeah, they're trying to switch it up. Wilson drives the lane, kicks. Wilson frame. Jared Wilson frame with his fourth three. Like I said before, there's not a shot that kid does not like. That could have been a travel. A little double trouble. Good pressure. Allen's extended defense knocks it away, but right to Miller. I don't know. Do you, can you give the assist to McGowan's on that? No, no, no. You can't do that. Was in, Miller was in the right place at the right time. They caught him right in right in stride to the basket too. Johnson it now. It looked like a pass. <laughs> really did. Johnson, McGowan's, Ellison, Wilson, Frame, and Brown. Brown playing his best game of the year by far as Jared Wilson Frame. Hits another three. How about back to back games for Wilson Frame with five three pointers? Uh -huh. Let's look at some of these highlights because there have been a bunch. The alley oop to Brown, then the three from Johnson as he hits the three, and now Wilson Frame with a couple of threes. That one's nonchalant. Yeah. He, then Wilson Frame hits this one, Chevy, and it's it's a little excite, a little more exciting. Look at this like, reaction. It looks like he's in. He's starting to get in rhythm. He's he's confident, and he's 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 going to be taking that shot for the rest of the night. When did that start? The uh, like okay over the eye three. Uh, that's that's showmanship. If you ain't doing that now, you're not getting noticed. There it is. I don't know what that is. Now, I actually counted seven. He only has five, but I think we'll let him go. It looks like seven. He does have seven attempts, so maybe that's where he was going with that. Mm -hmm. Hicks working on Brown. Kicks it out. Renato is not a three-point guy. It's not where his buckets come. Mm -hmm. yeah, Johnson. Like he likes to play under the basket. Renato working hard down low, but off his hands and out of bounds. Panther basketball up 13. Lake Burnett is in for Troy, and now Adis Tony in for the Panthers. Panther inbound, no full court this time. Every one of Varnando's shots in the paint is, is being contested. That's why he's not having so much success tonight. Johnson drives lane and ball blocked, and a foul called. That foul is going to be on Miller, his third. You, know, you would think when Troy gets into the Sun Belt Conference with this physicality, they're going to have some success in the conference this year. Yeah, I, I like the way that they're playing. It's you can't teach what they're doing out there tonight. Round and out. We saw the same type of physicality from Youngstown State. And similar thought there that Youngstown State's going to do all right. In the horizon and in the Sun Belt, picked fourth preseason are the Trojans as Johnson's free throw goes down. So City and Deer. I think he's in for defensive pressure. Pressure. He could play. It's 11 on 11 here. Not literally, but the two players. <laughs> Three from the corner, no good, and pounding the glass is Hicks. Hicks, double pump, and the three-point opportunity. He created a lot of space after he got that offensive rebound. I don't know how he got that up. Hicks oh, just oh. able to stay in the air. That's a pretty another, athletic move. That's another tilt to world or whirlwind, whatever you want to call it. That's you don't you can't teach that kind of stuff. That's just effort. Hicks now with the Baker's dozen. Leads all scores for Troy. Jared Wilson frames 17 for the Panthers. 11 point lead. Wilson frame, oh, nice move. Drives the lane and lays it in. 
And skip to my loose. Straight to the easy inverse layup. He made it look easy also. Johnson to Hicks. Oh, Hicks back door. Burnett floater no good. And Vernado's there and the foul on Pitt. Foul on Tony for Tony his second. So a foul on the Panthers. Pitt leads by 13 here in the second half as Jared Wilson frame leads all scores with 19 points. It's 66 53 Panthers. What is that? No, no, no. He's got a virus. I have a virus? Oh, no, no, no. I've never seen this. Did you try restarting it? Mom! Any key enter the space bar escape. We thought we lost everything in that fire. But my independent agent and auto owners made sure we were up and running fast. That's what mattered to us. For whatever lies ahead, we're always there. Auto Owners Insurance. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. 66 to 53. The Panthers lead Troy. Chevy, you're offered some gum during the break, and you realize that. You should not have gum while you're broadcasting. I mean, it's just some things you can't do. So you asked Mr. Hillgrove, should I have gum? He said no. No. She said no. <laughs> this is our Bill Hillgrove bobblehead, by the way. Chevy's been, like, brushing it for good luck. I mean, well, you can't. Well, can't you got to like, you got to love Hillgrove. You know, he's been here forever. He's 50 doing. years. Can you imagine doing anything for 50 years? I thought Pete, I'm a Sagittarius, so you know I need adventure, and I get bored fast. Sixty-six fifty-five as Troy continues to own the free throw line, if not the scoreboard. And there's Bill Hillgrove. And what a distinguished career he's had, and and you speak distinguished the National League MVP from 1960 a Duke Hall of you have your number retired at Duke you're doing something right and Curtis Aiken who now is a legacy here at Pitt his son on the basketball team I've been hearing about uh, Aiken Jr. for a while I've been waiting to see if he's going to come to Pitt or not I'm happy to see him I wonder if he should wear the Curtis short shorts that Curtis wore back in the day good look down low to Vernado in the foul <laughs> That was a good look. Tell you what, this there's Curtis Aiken Jr. He's probably seen enough of those pictures. But Curtis, a freshman from North Allegheny High School, which is in the Pittsburgh area. Do you think he's going to wear his dad's jersey? There's Curtis. Curtis was a player, and he was he was really good. Do you, do you think he's going to wear his dad's jersey, or is he going to make his own? I, think I would wear dad's. Yeah, I would too. Renato finishes the three point opportunity and let's not sleep on this Troy team here now down eight Panthers trying to pull away they got that lead up to 14 uh, I gotta remember Pitts, you know they're kind of new this squad is new to to winning so you know hopefully they don't get too complacent down the stretch city and deer and good hands Burnett's able to drive on Chukwuka and a block by Endier as he gets back to block that shot. Wilson frame all oh, he was wide open from three and passed it up. And tripped heading into the lane. And foul is on Burnett. Look at City getting back on defense. Yeah, this is just a this is just your team. It's extra effort. You, know, you can't you can't coach that. And if it if if cables over there instilling this type of defense in, in the Panthers, you know, teams are gonna have problems. Inbound for the Panthers as Endier gets a seat. Malik Ellison with Johnson, Tony, Chukwuka, and Wilson Frame. Tony drives, kicks, Chukwuka lays it up and in. Chukwuka's first points 
in a while. They're going to be talking about that basket later tonight. In ten, study hall. <laughs> ten point lead by the Panthers. Working down low. Chukwuka trying to body up on Hicks. And out of bounds off Jared Wilson frame. City Endear is the most experienced Panther player. He's been to the NCAA tournament twice, and he has something that Jeff Capel said that that room doesn't have. That's a guy that's been there. He sees the game differently, and he's key, he said, for them in that locker room. Well, he also said that he's used to winning, and a lot of these guys aren't used to winning. So, like, these last couple games of him winning, this is just something new for them. Tony picks up the foul. A little bit of arm on that block. Third foul on Tony, and the fouls piling up. That's three on Tony, three on Chukwuka. He's the only two with three for the Panthers. B.J. Miller has three for Troy. Still got 9.54 to go. Troy 17 of 18 from the line. I'm sure Cape is not afraid to, to use some of his players on the bench. But they all they all give a similar effort. So hopefully with the same results. And they've gotten a nice even when Ali Goma was in just for a couple of minutes. He was he was aggressive, he was playing hard. But picked up a couple of quick fouls. Yeah. So now with three fouls, Miller checks in. Essence of the shot is a free throw. And they only missed one time. I think they're going to finish the game with only one miss. There you go. Prediction of the night. Allison, <laughs> look over and skipping out on the three point opportunity is Xavier Johnson. He kicks it back out. Chukwuka will take it. Chukwuka will miss it. And Ellison grabs the offensive rebound. And Ellison is fouled. Good hustle there from Ellison. Foul on Burnett. That was a good play. They, they drew it up. The big man stepped out on the three. Shot a clean shot with rebounders in position, offensive rebound. And, and the inbounds for the Panthers. Wilson frame, and that's what he does. He steps back and hits threes at an alarming rate. Six of eight tonight. Yeah, yeah he's feeling it tonight. He was an integral piece in the last in the last win, and tonight he's he's continuing where he's left off. Not a pretty move. Love that jump hook. That's where he's going to get most of his buckets. You know, he's been fighting down there close to the basket. 11 of 17, by the way, with Wilson frame from three. You hit layups at that rate would be a good percentage. I did hit layups at better <laughs> rates. Johnson drives and is tripped by Burnett. Burnett, a third foul. Jared Wilson frame is just easy. Well, they can't leave him that open. Like, he's just stepping. I mean, he's stepping in rhythm, and he, it's like he's in the, in the gym by himself. And I think that's a key point. He hasn't forced any of these threes. Mm -hmm. They've been within the offense. His shots, his shots tonight compared to the last game are in rhythm. They're open, and the, the defender has made a mistake by leaving them open. Six threes a career tie a career high. Malik Ellison up top. 15 on the clock. Chukwuka. Johnson, he'll take the three. And in and out. Rebound tapped and controlled by Troy. Norman. Good use of the basket as a defender by Miller and he lays it in. Yeah, that was a nice reverse. He saw the defender cutting his lane and he just went to the other side and beat the extra effort by Ellison. Ellison frame. Stops. Panthers up just seven. Ellison frame trying to create some space. Ellison has space. He 
Shoots the three a little short. Rebound to Troy and a chance for them to cut into this lead. Jump hook by Vernado, no good. And Johnson quickly the other way. Numbers aren't favoring the Panthers. Jared Wilson frame though, drives a lefty, no good. Shukwuka battles and grabs the offensive rebound. Johnson in the lane, has it stripped. Good defense from Troy. And as Charles Norman goes down, is back up. And Troy looking to cut into this lead. It was 14. Now seven. Runner, no good. Chukwuka the rebound. They've got Ellison. But Johnson settles it down and will run offense. Screen. Good time. A little bit of a scoring drought here, which has been a rarity in the second half. Well, they're not finding their key, their key, key shooter right now. So that's three on Vernado. It's a seven-point lead for the Panthers in Pittsburgh. At T-Mobile, forty bucks gets you an unlimited plan and a new Samsung Galaxy S9 included for every line. This is what you get with your forty-dollar plan at Verizon. Recap with T-Mobile, you get this. Four lines, four phones for 40 bucks. With Verizon, you get this. The choice just got a whole lot more obvious. Get more because you deserve it. Only at T-Mobile. Zip, the buzz, the clip, the clean sweep. The technically, it's just a trim, the do-over, the dad done. The nose nip, the neck notch, the around the ear edge over, the taper, the tweed, the touch up, and the total takedown. For any man and every man maintenance mission, cultivate the confidence. Be the man. Con Air Man. He's a senior from Hartford, Connecticut. Jared Wilson Frame has owned Pittsburgh tonight. He's shooting in rhythm shots, and they're open. And then when they come up on him, because he's hitting six of eight from three, he still has the ability to drive the lane. Yeah, he's, yeah because he's stretching the floor, he's making a, he's making a defense over commit. So, like, with his pump fake, you know, he's keeping them honest. And then it's, it's just clearing the lane so that he can go all the way to the cup. Ties a career high in points, does Wilson frame. With still 6.41 to go. Free throw good by Johnson. Wilson Frame sitting for a moment. You see him there. 22 points after 20 against VMI. by Ellison. Ellison quickly the other way for the Panthers, leading by nine. They look like they're slowing it down a little bit. Serve some, waste some of those minutes. Troy just four of four and ten last year on the road. Johnson's three. So Xavier Johnson now with 15 points. Eight assists and six rebounds. Yeah. He's constantly playing and all the stat all the stats. Panthers with seven threes in the second half. Good defense now by the Panthers. And shot good by Hicks. Ooh. I did not expect that from, that from him. Xavier Johnson had his first double double in the last game. He is not that far away from a triple double in his third college game. No. He was close last game too. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken. Adams down low, the wall off by Vernado, and a foul on Ellison, his third. Boy, good positioning. Yeah, just a solid duffer. 
Jeff Capel looking for his third win in as many games with the Panthers as Jared Wilson frame checks back in and why not. Yeah, you wanted him in the game down the stretch. Shooting what six or eight I think if I'm not mistaken. Got a near handful of rebounds. Renato continues this unbelievable stretch. Plus 10 at the line right now is Troy. Instructions there from the Panthers head coach. 5.08 to go. Panthers leading it by nine. And a rare miss, but an offensive rebound by Troy. Renato is going to get it again and misses the jump hook and a foul on the Panthers. So back to the line after the foul on McGowan's. So Alex Hicks goes to the line. Hicks, one of two Trojans to miss a free throw tonight. 15 points and five rebounds. See Phil Cunningham there. He said what Jeff Capel is doing with Pitt reminds him of what he saw when they played Duke. He says he sees similarities, not yet in talent, but in the way in the style of play and the way they want to play. Yeah. Coach Capel, he also said that he, he wants to build a tradition that that Pitt used to know. And he, he, you can definitely see it in this this new this new zoo era. The lead is eight. A couple of rare misses at the free throw line for Troy. Wilson Frame's going to drive righty. He's not stopped, so he's going to score. <laughs> Lead is 10. Panthers done a good job when Troy's gone on a bit of a run. The Panthers push that lead back out. Miller's going to drive. Kick. Bernardo misses the three. Yeah, the Panthers are showing a lot of composure right now. Good non-conference test for the Panthers. Yeah. It's a lot of experience on, on Troy's team. Chukwuka misses the lefty down low. And Hicks dribbles. And it was harassed and eventually stolen on the tap by Johnson. Numbers for the Panthers. Johnson, Chukwuka, that time the lefty goes down. Timeout. For Troy, it's 80-68. Panthers here with under four to play. When the game's over and you're exhausted from woo-hooing, there'll be greasy platters to grapple with, crusty bowls to do battle with, and filthy forks from friends afraid of finger food. But you can do this. You'll have the power of Maytag on your team. Now get out there and host your heart out. Maytag will see you on the other side. Maytag, what's inside matters. Artificial intelligence helps us meet the needs of tomorrow today. By 2050, we need to produce 60% more food. So how do we feed the world without wrecking the planet? Using Microsoft AI, we make predictions about when to plant, when to irrigate, and when to harvest. Now we can reduce waste and produce more food. Artificial intelligence helps us change the way we feed the world. Panthers are up a dozen here with 3.54 to go in the second half. And thanks in large part to a man playing his third college basketball game, Xavier Johnson. Yeah, you see him out on the break, you know, get, getting his teammates involved, drawing the defense and dropping dimes. You know, you got to love it. See Johnson, the assist there to Chukwuka, who finishes with the left hand. He's done a little bit of everything. 15 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. He's not afraid to, to fill up the stat line. There you go. You see those numbers right in front of you. He's on the verge of a triple-double. The young man is really getting off to a fast start here. Few freshmen are, including this man. Trey McGowan's who gets called for the foul against Chuck Norman. Hey, yeah, 
don't think he got a little arm. That's a in, in my book, that's a baby foul. And oh, kind roll for Norman. Now three of three from the line. Guess when it's going down for you. They're practicing free throws in, in Troy. Yeah, I'd say. Charles Norman from Durham. They play some pretty good basketball there, too. Ellison with a little pressure. And Panthers just do get it off with the second to spare is Johnson. And we'll see the composure of these young freshmen right now. You know who, who Johnson reminds me of a little bit? Of the former player, Keith Benjamin. This is exactly the same, same style, same aggressive, aggressiveness. The whole, the whole pack, almost the whole package, not the whole package, but similar players. Foul on Alex Hicks. How about this? For Hicks, that's just his second. And we'll say we'll get a chance to see for the first time, unless it explodes out a little bit more, how well the Panthers shoot free throws under pressure. Ellison makes the first there. As physical as Hicks is, I'm surprised he only has two fouls. Troy only has one timeout left. Ellison's second free throw is good. Yep. The Panthers doing all right themselves at the line. 12 of 15. And a near steal by McGowans. Here comes Miller. Down a dozen are the Trojans with about three minutes to play. Johnson's three, and it's a 10-point game. Make it nine. Johnson on Wilson frame. Wilson frame with 24, a career high. Johnson from three, no good. Rebound to Kenna Chukwuka. He looked like he rushed that a little bit. A fifth rebound for Chukwuka. Johnson. Chukwuka thought about it. Wilson frame. Wilson frame, three. I thought that was heading for the bank. And Tony's rebound no good, a block by Verdado, but yet the Panthers still control, and we're now down to two minutes to go. Panthers happy to run some time here. A drive and a block up by Verdano, and off Ellison. And we may get a replay here. I'd like to see that replay. See the officials immediately heading over to the broadcast location. You know, they're right over by where Dick Grote is. If they asked him, I'm sure that he'd tell them <laughs> fairly exactly where they're at. But we'll give you a view right now. Oh, little hands. Oh, that's clean. I think it was clean, but I do think it did come off Ellison at the end. Maybe it touched his hair. I don't know. I thought it went off his hand after the block. I thought it, it grazed Ellison's hand. Mm. I need that. I need a different angle. Well, here you go. Huh? Oh, double block. Oh. So I want to say it was off forearm of. Ellison. Maybe, yep, it looked like the ball might have been going down that area. See the officials, Brian Dorsey, Roger Ayers, and there's Ted Valentine in the middle, and they confirm the, yep. the call. It is Trojan basketball. So it wasn't off of his hair, it was off of his form. <laughs> yes, I can't confirm that. So this is the baseline view. See, clean block. Rolled right off. Yep, right off. That's a good call. Yep, right off the bridge. And a good call live. And let's take a second here. There's so much on officiating. How often these guys get it right? 
is pretty amazing at the speed that these yeah. athletes play at. Yeah. And this is a pretty good crew here, pretty veteran crew of Dorsey, Ayers, and Valentine. Yeah, they, they're doing a good job. I can't complain. They're letting the guys play. And Renato. And now he wants a replay. Oh, he called the replay? And guess what? We're heading right back to where we were. I didn't know players could call replays. Yeah, I don't know what he. Oh, it is. Yeah. He, he, he passed it out of bounds. Yeah, he. That was just an error by. Verdano, yeah. and he, you know he's he's had a another quality game, another double double, 20 points and 11 rebounds, but uh, that's a turnover. Yeah, he was thinking way too far we, ahead that he forgot what he was actually. We shouldn't doing. have to take a lot of time on this. Last year. Trojans 16 and 17, uh, but expecting a bit of a bounce back this year. They won the Sun Belt two years ago. Four times they've been in the NIT and they've been in the CBI tournament as well. Bill Cunningham in year number six, talking to his team, and they will be Panther basketball. So two replays and two upholds. So Jeff Capel. Looking to win his third game. Panthers looking to improve to 145 and 7 all time in non conference games at the peak and 67 and 2 all time in November in this building. 67 and 2. This is a tough place for, to, for anybody to want to come in and play. Panthers up 9 and no fouling here by Troy. And at this point now you just want the shot clock to run out. Jared Wilson frame all it goes in and out. So can Troy mount a miraculous comeback here. Rodano is going to drive and he is fouled so clock will stop. Foul on Johnson. It's number two on Johnson so clock stops and at the line. Renato 10 of 11 from the free throw line. It looks like they have a, a one minute a, a one minute. Um, how, do you, how do you call it in uh, two minute drill one minute drill one minute one drill. minute drill right now. That's what they that's what Troy's going to. Right now. And you got to think who are you going to foul. I wouldn't try to foul none of the Troy players at the way they're shooting free throws. Wait, no, no. I mean Troy. If you're Troy, who do you want to foul? I'm thinking either Ellison or Chukwuka. You don't want to foul Wilson Frame. And look, there's McGowan's with the basketball, and he is fouled. And we see 54 bench points against VMI, 36. In this game, and again, a big advantage for the Panthers. They're a plus 21 in bench points. With McGowan's at the line, Hicks checking in. And it's all those games you play about trying to disrupt rhythm with substitutions and the offensive defensive substitutions. Yeah, when you have when you have your bench given given a point production like this, I mean, it's hard it's hard not to be on the, the winning side of the game. Allen's was 10 of 11 now 11 of 12 to start his career with the Panthers. McGowan's again in double figures. And that one gets the roll. The Panthers back up nine. Inbound and Troy quickly the other way. Hicks working up high with Chukuka guarding him. The handoff to Norman. Norman step back three short. Verdano hustles to knock it out of bounds, but before he did that, Bernardo stepped on the baseline. Turnover for Troy, or at least an inability to stop that errant shot. So they'll press here on the Panthers, trailing by nine with 30 to play. Johnson's got a globe trotter for a while. And I don't think Cunningham is going to have his team foul. The one man fast uh, press breaker. 
So Xavier Johnson finishes with 15 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. Jared Wilson frame 24 points on six of 10 shooting from three as the Panthers win it 84 75 and Chevy what really stuck out to you about this game I mean the effort the effort that the Panthers are giving again I mean it's it's hard not to imagine that that capable isn't instilling something new in this in in, in the Panthers uh, new era and another hard working effort for the Troy Trojans on the road so for Chevy Troutman and our outstanding crew I'm Jeff Hathorne saying so long from Pittsburgh where the final score is Pitt 84 and Troy 75 all games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live on the ESPN app to watch this game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks log on to watch ESPN.com or download the watch ESPN app this has been a presentation of ESPN.